Hi everyone, so today's video is going to be a story time, a introduction of myself, collaboration sort of thing. It's a story about why I stopped making YouTube videos and why I am back. So grab yourself a drink, um, whether it's tea, coffee, water. I hope you enjoyed this video and consider subscribing once I'm done because I have plenty of videos planned I would love to share with you all. So, first of all, hello, I am Shannon. I am 19 years old. I'll be 20 in February. I am a nursing student, second year nursing student, and I used to just have a huge passion for makeup. It all stemmed from my sister and I wanted to be like her. She was a young teen just exploring with makeup and of course I was the young sister that wanted to follow in her footsteps and play with makeup too. So it all started in about 2008-2009. Um, we used to go to MAC and buy makeup when we were on vacation in Maine and we would go to the MAC counter and that was like our thing to do. Over time I collected makeup and I wanted to do YouTube. I watched many people like Patrilude, um, Mac and C40, Laguna something. Michelle Fawn was one of my favorites. I loved her. I would watch her videos and write down on a piece of paper every product she used. And of course it was all long comb and so expensive and I couldn't afford it. I was nine years old, eight or nine years old. Um, but I just, I wanted everything she had. I just, I absolutely idolized these people. And so I had a webcam and I started filming videos and I loved it. And it was so much fun to just sit down and film myself doing my makeup, my makeup, like filming my makeup collection, doing nail tutorials, like literally anything. And then... Fast forward, probably like four years, I started doing videos. I just kept those to myself when I was about eight or nine years old. And then when I was in middle school, I started filming videos and posting them. My my friend Rachel and I um, started posting videos together and Brianna as well. And we all started making YouTube channels and posting our videos. And it was so fun. It was like... I'm like getting excited thinking about it. Like we would do Mac tutorials, we'd do hauls together, we did like a baby food challenge together. You know, I had all of these plans of things I wanted to do. And we would go over each other's houses and help each other and again film together. It was just like so much fun. It was just like a little hobby that we had. That's where it all started. And then this happened. <laughs> I was really cl close with those two girls I mentioned and we went to middle school together and my seventh grade homeroom and math teacher, he was a man and for some reason he showed us this video about CMTs that he had made. So it's um, like a standardized test that he had, like made a basically a parody for for his other students in other classes um, at his previous school so whatever that's fine and he showed us that and we all laughed and it was great and then one morning I walk into class and I was sitting at my desk and it was before class had officially started so the class was already full and I sat to the very right and his desk was to the very left so He's like, Shannon, come here. And I was like, all right. And he had YouTube pulled up. And he was like, uh, I found something. And I was like, what? And I started to like sweat at this point because I was like, holy shit, did you just find my YouTube channel? And he had done so. That he, that's what he showed me. He pulled up on his screen my YouTube channel and my videos. And he was going to show my whole class because I, I don't know if you guys are familiar but there's this device called a smart board so it connects to your computer and then it projects instead of it like a projector um, that you turn on with like a light 
it's a projector that links to your computer so whatever's on the teacher's screen pops up in front of the whole class. And at this point I feel myself, I'm as red as a tomato and I, I'm like, I'm in this situation right now. Oh my God. So I'm like crying. It's like still traumatizing to me. So I'm like shaking and sweating and I'm like, don't, please don't, please don't, please don't. And I was just like begging him to not show the class. And I swear to God, he was going to click the button. And I just ran to the bathroom and I cried. I just cried in the bathroom. And I just stayed, I can't even tell you how long I stayed in that bathroom. I think it was the entire period. I really cannot remember if he had apologized or if he had talked to me afterwards. I cannot remember if he apologized for it or not. But that situation scared the shit out of me. Because I was so scared that everyone would find out. And then I had people texting me, do you have a YouTube channel? And I would lie and I would say no. Um, I was so embarrassed and scared. And that's so wrong. Like, you're, now I'm, that I'm thinking about it, like, that was a hobby that I loved to do. And <laughs> the fact that I let my professor, my professor, my teacher scare me out of doing something that I really love, um, that bothers me. And it's the reason why I'm coming back 10 years later and trying it again. So here I am. <laughs> I've really worked hard. I'm like trying to get, like collect my composure here. I've done a lot of like self-reflecting and I've been on the self-love and self-acceptance journey for about three years now. Over the last year, my big goal is to not let fears hold me back from life anymore. Fear is such a horrible thing. Fear of failure, fear of the future, which causes anxiety. Like, I just need to be free of all of that. This is one of the ways I am breaking out of that. So I've certainly worked on other things that I've been fearful of. And healing from those things, learning from those things, and just, again, breaking free from my fears. Because living in fear all of the time is an awful feeling. It's, it's, like, um, it's like you're in this cage and you're just being controlled by what scares you. And if you're always scared of the unknown or whatever... You are, I feel like you are never going to get to where you want to be if you're constantly living in fear. And not just like you or if anyone, but I'm talking like specifically about myself. So if I'm constantly living in fear, I'm never going to get to the places that I would like to be. And, um, and that's sad because I just think of what I could be doing if I had continued to do YouTube over the 10 years. And not necessarily that it would be like my job, but just the difference I could have made. But I also feel grateful that I'm starting now because I have grown so much as a person. And I'm not just saying that lightly. I truly mean it. I've done a lot of, again, self-reflecting, learning about myself, being raw and, you know, ugly with myself. Um, as far as like facing what, what my negative characteristics were, what my, um, what do you call it? The character flaws or whatever. I'm not putting my finger on the exact word I want, but you know, my flaws, I have faced them and I am currently and consciously working through those things. So for example, my patience. I was a very impatient person and it stems from, you know, insecurity and it all stems from within. So I've worked so hard to become a person that I'm proud of and become a person that I truly want to be. I had to face my insecurities, my trauma, my hurt, and really get to the root of what broke me. And then I was able to rebuild myself. By doing so, I had to face fears. I had to face fear in the face 
and learn from it and work through it and it's gotten me to this point. So again, I could be upset by the fact that I could have progressed so much since 10 years ago, but I think for you guys and for myself, this is the version of myself that I want you to see. This is who I want to influence people with, this person that I am today. And that doesn't mean that I won't grow or even become better, a better version of myself, but that's what I've been working towards, being a better version of myself day in and day out. And being honest with myself, being brutally honest, if if that's the case, if that's you know the terminology you want um, to use and just facing everything that scares me and not letting it scare me. So basically conditioning myself to work through things that once scared me. And I don't, what is the worst that can happen? You know, I, I did a few things over the summer where I'm like, yeah, like this could happen, but this could also happen. And, you know, something that scared me and kind of I was apprehensive about ended up being one of the best experiences of my life and I met some really great friends by. So certainly there are places and times where you should be, you know, a little bit scared or apprehensive, but I no longer want fear to control my life and I want to do things that make me happy. And if playing with makeup or showing you guys how I do my hobbies like selling on Poshmark or consignment shopping or doing my everyday makeup tutorial, I want to do that because it fulfills me and there's plenty of other topics like my self-love journey that I think you and other people can relate to because I've heard other people's journeys and I certainly have benefited and grown from them. So while those don't may not be like my first videos I post, if you are interested in more of um, my deeper and, and more heavy discussions certainly let me know because I think I've gotten to the point where I'm comfortable talking about it and um, I definitely again think it could help even if it helps one person I want to share that so um, I, again I think it's a little bit too much too soon but certainly I can do that when the time is um, is ready that is why I stopped making YouTube videos teacher basically traumatized me and scared me um, I don't know what the worst thing could happen. It was just so embarrassing that, you know, especially I had just gone through puberty or starting puberty and just like all of those feelings and emotions, you cared what everyone thought. So now at this point, I don't, it's not that I don't care what anyone thinks, but I just know that deep down it matters what I think and it matters who I know I am and it matters what I think pretty much more than anything don't want to let fear get in my way any longer and this is a huge step for me it's always been a dream of mine it's always been a passion of mine and even though I haven't posted or you know anything like that I have taken hundreds probably thousands of videos since I stopped making videos on YouTube I have them on my phone I vlog all the time I just I I watch them myself and I don't edit them or anything. I just take videos of myself and I always am like, what if I po want to post this or what if I want to do this or that? And on my camera, I've done hauls, I've done this, I've done that and just never posted anything. I've had it on my camera all these years. I just haven't posted anything. So I really wanted this video to be the first one um, and then another one perhaps to get to know me a little bit, just like generic before I get into like, again, the heavy and deeper things like my self-love journey. Um, but I really wanted this to be like the groundbreaker. And if you're watching this, Mr. L, I want you to know that you did traumatize me. You scared the crap out of me, but I came back many years later and I'm actually ready to do this and I'm no longer going to let words like yours or fear get in my way and I um I I guess I thank you in a way um because I had to learn the hard way that it doesn't really matter what other people think um 
and that I just need to start doing things that make me happy and not live in fear of what other people may think of me as I once did when I was like 12 or 13 years old. So I am grateful that I am where I am now. And so again, in a sense, there's always the what if, what if, what if, just forget it. It's already done and over with, so it doesn't even matter what life could have been like. I am grateful again that you guys are seeing this version of Shannon because this one is by far the best. And I have my hard days, of course, but as far as like the person I want to be and the person who I am, um, this is the best that I've been because I feel so secure in who I am and I'm not letting my insecurities or negative thoughts get in the way anymore. I definitely have a different mindset than I ever have before and it's a beautiful thing. And those are again things that I really want to share with you because I've been there. I've been a person that I don't really want to be. I've said things that I, I'm not proud of. So those are all topics I want to discuss on my channel. So if you have any topics that you want me to elaborate on, certainly let me know. And I have a full document full of um, video ideas that I would like to do, but I can always add it to the list and think of um, other ideas that I can, I can do along with that. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. And again, if you're interested in anything I mentioned today, or if you want to get to know me more, again, subscribe. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this, or give it a thumbs down if you did not. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.